Today, I'm going to show you how to set up WireGuard on your router. Today, I'm also going to use the GWN7062 uh, router. Works very well, uh, perfect for home. But now that they've had the WireGuard feature, I can show you how to set that up. So let's dive into that. First, we need to log into the cloud. Very simple to do. Jason at jasonslab.ca. We'll put in our code. We're in, and I've called the white router Winnie's place or Winnie's house, and it's online. So now all we have to do is go to settings, VPN, WireGuard, and then set it up. So we click add, we'll call it Winnie's VPN. We'll turn it on so that way it works. We'll select the WAN interface. It's already set automatically for the listening port, which is 51820. We'll give it a subnet. So 192.168.10.1 slash 24, simple little network. And then we'll push save. WireGuard is saved successfully. Do you want to add the corresponding peer? Sure, we'll push OK. We're going to use auto because then it's very, very simple to do. Manual is if you want to use something like, like a PS Sense or OpenSense, but we're just going to do a phone and a laptop. So the first one we'll do is my iPhone. We'll push save and it's set up. Now we have the option to click the QR code to add it or we can download the file. With the file all iPhone, we're going to use the QR code. So we click on this. We open up our iPhone. We go to WireGuard and we'll push plus. And then you get the options to create from file from archive, create from QR code or create from sketch. And we're going to push QR, uh, create from QR code. So we'll do that. It brings up our camera. We can scan it. And then it comes up and says, what do you want to name this? We'll call this Winnie's VPN Home. I'll put a screenshot on there for you. We'll click save and then it's on there. Now, if I close that and I click Winnie's Home VPN Home, it's connected instantly. And if you click on it, we'll also see all our settings. I'll put a screenshot in there. And if we give it not even five seconds, you'll see that it's already connected, right? Pretty sweet. This is also tunneling your traffic across that VPN. So if you're out and about and you have this as your main router, it tunnels all your traffic. Next, I'm going to turn off this VPN. We don't need it. Let's show you how to do it on your laptop. So let's create another one. We'll call this main laptop. I want to give it a name so you can identify what it is. You can add or remove certain ones. We'll click save. And then we could download the configuration file. We're going to save this to the desktop so it's nice and easy to find. We'll give this, and it's already called Peer Main Laptop. We'll click save. I've got WireGuard installed, and after that, it's pretty easy. Watch this. So we want this, import tunnels from a file, go to the desktop. We have our file, open. Why is that not valid? There we go. It didn't like the name, so I just had to change the name of that. And then all we have to do is click advanced or activate. And now we're connected. And to show that we're connected, We'll just give this a second and now we're connected. Pretty simple. I used this in my last video for the five days that I was there and it worked flawless. I had to travel in the airport. It was really, really, really good. Quick, simple video for you guys how to add this to your um, router with GrandStream. I've only done it in the cloud because I like the cloud. As you can see, I'm in the cloud and I use it because it's got 2FA. Um, I believe this does work 
uh, if you have this beta firmware in on your new routers. And I believe they have two routers that are available. Um, they have three, sorry. They actually have more than three. They have three different series is what I meant to say. They have the little white one, which is like a tower. I'll put a picture here for you. Then they have the GWN7052F, which is the little one with the antennas externally. And then they have the one that I'm using, which is the 7002. All work great with this firmware. You just have to add it uh, online and uh, do the firmware update. And then you'll get these features locally on there to do it instead of doing it through the cloud. Works very good. Quick video for you guys, how to set up WireGuard. And that's it. See you later.